just want to welcome you all uh, very much to this session, this mindfully waiting for Easter session. And just to give a little bit of context to this to this session, um, is that we usually hold a course, Dan usually hosts the course in the sanctuary, uh, mindfully waiting for Easter or mindfully waiting for Christmas. And we had booked up the course and then COVID-19 hit. And Unfortunately, we can't all be in the sanctuary, but we still wanted to do something. We still wanted to mark this very special time. So Stan uh, said that she would be willing to do a shorter session online, and that, and that is what we're doing here. We decided not to charge for the session, but rather, you know, all, any proceeds or any donations that you will make, or if you have made, thank you very much, or you don't have to at all either. But if you feel inspired to, you can donate to our caregiver program. Program, which is a program that we ran and have been running in the sanctuary for those who are working on the front lines. Uh, we've been running it for a number of years and we very much want to continue to raise money so that we can um, deliver this program to maybe some of the caregivers who wouldn't have the resources to pay for or to take the program, but we so that we can still support them and help sustain their well-being. And it's especially important in these times of difficulty. And before COVID, we were um, hoping to do run a, a, a fundraising event called the Dawn Chorus. I'm sure you've seen literature that we've sent out about the Dawn Chorus, um, where we were going to host an event in the Phoenix Park. Unfortunately, we can't go to the Phoenix Park, but we're still going ahead with the Dawn Chorus and encouraging you all to, to, uh, to witness the Dawn Chorus, to engage with the Dawn Chorus on Sunday, May the 3rd. I myself am going to get up at four o'clock in the morning and hike into a forest and I'm going to on our Facebook page. So if you are on Facebook, like us and get up at that hour, uh, you can watch me uh, doing a live meditation into the dawn chorus as, as we witness the, the beautiful um, the beautiful orchestra of the birds. So that still is going ahead. And again, that is our fundraising event for this caregiving program. But without saying any more about that, I also just want to let, welcome you and let you all know that we do host weekly um, meditate, free weekly meditation sits to help all sustain and support everybody while we're in self-isolation or observing social distancing or indeed cocooning somewhere. If you're looking to touch in with community, please watch all of our social media uh, platforms or visit our website, www.sanctuary.ie or watch, join our newsletter. You'll get all the links. You can log on three times a week. And as you log on, you'll be able to join us in practice. So, so these are happening and you're all very welcome. But today's event is different. Today's event is very special. Today's event is an offering from our founder, Sister Stan, who is going to do a session on mindfully waiting for Easter and compassionate response to all that's happening around us. So Stan is going to give a talk. She's going to guide a practice. We're going to have a moment to share and and to have a bit of a conversation and the session will finish with myself i'm going to guide a compassion practice where we're going to see if we can really uh touch in with this wish to alleviate some of the suffering maybe in our our own suffering but also the suffering of the world and sending out a bit of life a bit of light and compassion through a visualization but without further ado, I'd like to welcome Sister Stan. Uh, she needs no further introduction. I'm just going to spotlight her video. Well, I thought we could do it together, Rosa. I forgot. She spotlighted. I'm yes. going to mute everybody's microphone because there is still some stuff coming. And Stan, I'm going to unmute your microphone because I've muted it. So you don't have to worry here. Let's see. Thank you, Jean. And good morning, everybody. And um, thank you for joining us in this preparation for Easter. We are, as we said, mindfully waiting for Easter. And we're doing that together. And we're doing it this year with great compassion. Great compassion for the suffering world. And that will be part of my talk to you 
but also part of the meditation. So what is Easter? This time of the year has been celebrated around the world for years and years and years. In every faith and wisdom tradition, the celebrating of this time of the year is part of it. And much earlier on, in pagan times, in the old Celtic times in Ireland and elsewhere, this time of the year was of paramount importance because it is a time of new life. It's a time of new light. It's a time of great hope. In the Christian tradition, Easter is a very important festival. In fact, it is the most important one on the, on the Christian calendar. Because at Easter, we celebrate the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. And that isn't something that just happened 2,000 years ago. It did happen 2,000 years ago, but it's happening all the time. The resurrection goes on and on. And we know that in ourselves, and we can see it around, it, around us. So it's a very important thing to celebrate for ourselves and the wider community, remembering that there's always new life emerging. The dying and rising is part of our world, is part of our life. And we see that mirrored all around us. It is mirrored beautifully and spectacularly in nature, where we see all the time the dark thought giving way to new life, with new buds, new shoots emerging all the time, beautifully, quietly, but really in an inspiring way. I walk in the sanctuary garden a few times every day, and every day it is different as I see new shoots emerging. Beautiful flowers and plants beautifully emerging, some of them stronger than others, some of them very strong, some of them weak, like all of us, is like all of us. Some of us are strong at times, other times we are weak. And that is what we celebrate now. And Joyce Rupp, in one of her poems, makes a great connection between our rising, that dying and rising, and that of nature. And I read for you one, a bit of one of her poems. She says, Behold, in the early hour of dawn, I see resurrection on my kitchen table. Every yellow daffodil greeting the morning, stretching outward and upward. But what captures my attention is one small thin remnant, voluntarily discarded beneath the smiling daffodils. This dry, transparent cover of a cast-off tube of protection once concealed a fragile bud, conveys to us the price of blooming. I pick up this remnant of resurrection and I hold it for a long, silent time, wondering what in me needs to be unwrapped before I too am blooming. What in me needs to be unwrapped before I too am blooming. And that is really a reminder to us that we all need to look and be aware of what we need to let go in our lives and how we need to support new life within us. All day, every day, there is the opportunity for us to be aware of what is happening in our lives.
what is dead in our lives, what we need to bring life to. And Easter is a special time to do that. So maybe for just one moment, we would silently think, reflect on what in my life is dormant that needs to be brought to life. What do I need to unwrap so that I am more fully human, more fully alive? Just for a moment, we might reflect on that. It is just to stay with the question. The answer mightn't come to you now, but keep the question at the back of your mind as we go forward with this meditation. And then when we look wider than ourselves and we look out today at the world, at the suffering world, our world is in pain. Our world is suffering as hundreds of thousands of people suffer from the COVID-19 pandemic. The world is suffering in a way that it was never before. And we are all made more and more aware of it because of technology. But we know too that the world will heal. We know just as life comes out of darkness and light emerges from darkness, a new life is emerging all the time. So the world will heal. And the world will be a better place for the rest of us when it does heal. But we have to be a part of that healing. And be part of it by cooperating with the guidelines we're given. But we can be part of it too, spiritually. We can be part of it by praying for the suffering people of the world by asking the risen Lord to raise them up. And we can be with them too by sending out compassion, compassion from our heart, knowing that they are waiting for that. The world is waiting for that. There's a lovely poem by Brenda Kennelly, it's called Begin, and he says, begin again to the summoning words the sight of light in the window. Begin again to the summoning words, to the sight of light in the window. In the end, he says, though we live in a world that dreams of ending, that always seems about to give in, something that will not acknowledge conclusion, insist that we forever begin. We live in a world that dreams of ending, that always seems about to give in. Something that will not acknowledge conclusion, insist that we forever begin. And that is, that is true of our world today. And as it wants to begin again, as the world is waiting to be healed, we can help that process to happen, particularly by holding the world in our hearts and sending out compassion from the bottom of our hearts. And if we do, that will reach people who never heard of us or we never heard of, but it will go out from us 
and the extraordinary healing all over the world. So holding people in our hearts and sending them compassion is one wonderful way of sending healing to our world and believing that the world will be healed, believing that it will be a better place for you and for me. And so we send compassion, we send out compassion to everyone, to the whole world. We do it by reciting phrases that have been used for centuries. And we say from the bottom of our hearts, may you all be well. May you all be happy. May you all be healthy. May you all be free from suffering. May you all be at ease. May you all be at peace. May you all be well. May you all be happy. May you all be healthy. May all, you all be at ease. May you all be at peace. And we're sending that out from our deep heart's core, knowing that it will reach out and bring healing to the world. And that's something we can do every day. And as we now will move into a meditation which I guide, we'll carry the suffering world in our hearts. And so we prepare for meditation. So I invite you just to sit comfortably. Make sure that you're sitting, if you're sitting on a chair or on a cushion, that you are comfortable. Because if you're not comfortable, that will be a distraction to you during the meditation. And in meditation, we want to be still. For meditation, we need silence and stillness. So I invite you to sit in your chair or on your cushion with your back straight. Not stiff, just straight. Straight and relaxed. Your feet on the floor. Back is straight. Your shoulders relaxed. Feel them drop and relaxed. Allow your arms to be heavy and relaxed. Your hands resting gently on your thighs or in your lap. And gently close your eyes if you haven't done so already. Or if that doesn't suit you, just drop your gaze. Just lower the gaze. Sitting here with nothing to do except to be present, open and awake. Present to this wonderful moment. Open to this wonderful moment. Awake to this wonderful moment. And I will sound the bell just to help you come into the present moment. Follow the sound of the bell. Now as you sit here, in this moment, just become aware of your feet on the floor. Feel your feet in your shoes 
on your socks, sinking in to the floor, sinking in to the earth beneath. Mother Earth, it holds us in the palm of our hand. Now become aware of the contact between your body and the chair or the cushion. Just notice the points of contact. And allow your weight to drop into the chair. Sitting comfortably in the chair, noticing your body relaxing into the chair as your feet relax into the floor. Just letting go of your body, your lower body. And maybe you can do that more easily if we do it with our breath. So we take a deep breath, breathing in, breathing out. And as we breathe out, we release our body further into the chair. The out breath facilitating our surrender as it were. The whole lower body relax and alert. And our back is straight. And we are sitting with a sense of purpose. We are sitting with awareness. We are sitting with dignity and respect. And as we do so, maybe this is a good time to bring to mind what is our intention for this morning? What is our intention from this time together? And maybe you give a moment to just reflecting on that question as it drops into your awareness. What is my intention? And maybe you will find an answer and maybe you will not. The question is important. Something that you can ask yourself again and again. And maybe we can turn that intention into a wish for ourselves. May I, whatever it is you need, whatever it is you seek, you just turn it into a kind wish. And as we are wishing wellness for ourselves, we will bring to mind again the suffering world. And we will send out from our hearts a kind wish, a wish for compassion and love, that their lives may be touched by our willing them compassion and goodness. And we sit here where we become more aware of our body, more aware of our back, the lower back, the upper back, just aware of any sensations in our back. Aware of our shoulders, aware of our arms, our hands and our neck joins our body with our head. Aware of our head, 
the back of the head, top of the head, and you're just noticing any energy there. Aware of our face. Aware of our forehead. And noticing the forehead releasing any tension. Aware of our eyes. And the area around our eyes. We allow our eyes to be soft, our eyelids like veils over our eyes. Mm -hmm. Aware of our mouth and the muscles around our mouth and releasing those muscles by giving ourselves a half smile. Dropping the jaw, dropping the chin. Our whole face, soft and relaxed. And now, as our whole body is relaxed, we bring our attention to our breathing. We bring our attention to our sitting, breathing body. As we breathe in, we breathe out. As we breathe in and as we breathe out. Watch your breath as you would watch the river flow. Watch your breath as you would watch a bird fly through the sky. Gently breathing. Centered and still. Only the breath is moving. The breath rising and falling. Rising and falling. Like the waves of the great ocean, our breath rises and falls. falls. Centered and still. Only the breath is moving. This is the breath of life. It is the breath of the creator of life. It 
flowing in and out of my body. Centered and still, only the breath is moving. Staying with the breath. The breath is our great friend. Is always there. The great breath of all creation and my small breath breathing together in the stillness. The great breath of all and my small breath breathing together in the stillness, in the stillness. the great breath of all and my small breath breathing together in the stillness, in the stillness. And as I stay with this stillness, I gather into it the whole world, particularly the suffering people of the world. It's at this time when we enjoy the stillness of being, we will wish them well. We will wish them health. We will wish them healing. Knowing but as we send wishes of compassion out, it is not just wishful thinking, it operates at the level of intention and it reaches out in a way that we know not of. So from this stillness in our heart, we send out loving compassion. Now I just want to read a few words from David White. He says, enough. These few words are enough. If not these words, this breath. If not this breath, this sitting here, this opening to the life we have refused again and again, until now, until now. If not this breath, this sitting here, this opening to the life we have refused again and again, until now, until now. And finally, I want to read for you a poem from John O'Donoghue, Binacht. Blessing. On the day when the weight deadens on your shoulders and you stumble, may the clay dance to balance you. And when your eyes freeze behind the grey window and the ghost of loss gets into you, may a flock of colours, indigo, red, green and blue, 
come to awaken in you a measure of delight. From the canvas phrase in the Korok of Thought, and a stain of ocean blackens beneath you, may there come across the waters a path of yellow moonlight to bring you safely home. May the nourishment of the earth be yours. May the clarity of light be yours. May the fluency of the ocean be yours. May the protection of our ancestors be you. And so may a slow wind work these words of love around you, an invisible cloak to mind your life. And so may a slow wind work these words around you, an invisible cloak to mind your life. And we say that poem for ourselves and for others, and especially for the suffering people of the world. And now I would all join together in finally sending out to the world the merit of this time together. May all beings be well. May all people live in harmony, justice and peace. And may those who die this day be at peace. And when you're ready, just gently open your eyes and bring your awareness back to your room. Just as we're coming towards the end of our session, what I might do now, just to finish the session, first of all, I want to thank everybody who has logged on and everybody who's been able to attend and to create this sense of community has just been incredible and inspiring and I'd like to thank Stan. Stan, thank you so much for, for continuing on with mindfully waiting for Easter and I think you know by the judging by the response and judging by everyone's messages it has it has quenched a thirst so thank you so much for, for your, your wisdom, your inspiration and your compassion. Mm. So my pleasure. All of us, all of us. Yes. <laughs> so I'm going, I'm at, we're actually going to drop down to practice just be, just to finish the session. I'm going to guide us just through a very short practice of, again, sending out a little bit of more compassion out into the world. And, and as I do this, before I do this, reminding you that we do have three free online sessions all throughout the week that if you do want to touch into this community, just go to our website, www.sanctuary.ie or watch our social media platforms there's links everywhere or sign up for our newsletter again we'll be sending out links regularly throughout the week but now to conclude the session we're going to guide we're going to drop down into practice so maybe just making yourself comfortable one more time Just taking this moment to, to pause and to turn inwards to touch in with what's here. So there may be some residual energy or thoughts or emotion from our session from Stan's words practice, the sharing.
Maybe there's something else. So just maybe beginning by sensing into what it is that you can feel in the body. So noticing tingles and itches or areas of tension. Maybe a pulsing. Maybe the aliveness of this breath. Maybe there's an emotion that's present. So just noticing how you're feeling. And then touching in with the thoughts. almost as if we're doing this 360 degree turn. Surveying our internal landscape. And as we notice what's here, we're going to narrow our attention one more time to the breath. So touching in with that place where you can feel the breath moving. It might be a gentle rise and fall of the shoulders. Or the rush of air at the tip of the nose, the mouth. And then on the next in-breath, seeing if we can breathe in whatever it is that's present. So breathing in any sensations, any thoughts, any emotions. We're breathing in with a wish, with a longing to relieve the suffering. Maybe it's our own suffering, but also the suffering and difficulty that's happening in the world. Breathing in this wish to relieve, to ease, to soothe the struggle, our own struggle and the struggle that the whole world is experiencing right now in this moment. And then as we breathe out, Seeing if we can relax out, send out a bit of space, a bit of comfort, and a bit of strength to all those who need it. So breathing out food and drink to those who are thirsty and hungry. Maybe it's breathing out shelter and a kind word to those who are without a home. Maybe it's breathing out safety and comfort to those who are in danger or to those who are struggling with illness, to those who are dying. So breathing in sensations, thoughts, emotions with this intention, with this longing to ease the suffering of the world and breathing out this compassionate, warm light of healing, reaching all those who need it.
wherever they may be. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in a wish to take away suffering. Breathing out with a wish to send out comfort and care. So I thank you all for joining us today. Without you, there would be no community. And it's all of our intentions and all of our our thoughts and our wishes for comfort and care and compassion that create the momentum for the sending out this relief from suffering, this ease in this extremely difficult moment. So thank you to one and all, and thank you to Stan, and thank you to everybody in the sanctuary who has supported this event. And I wish you all a wonderful day, but more importantly too, a wonderful Easter week as we face Easter week and and the lead up to our own personal resurrections and the resurrection that can, in be embedded all throughout the world. So have a wonderful afternoon, everybody. Go well, be well, be safe, and we'll see you again soon. Thank you, Jean. Thank you, Sister Stan. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you all. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so Thank very much. much. Thank you. Everybody. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.